Hey guys, Jix here, and um, I'm, I've just hit 100 subs on my channel, uh, so thanks a lot guys, and um, so what I've decided to do for 100 subs is do a tutorial, and um, this is going to be the paint splatter uh, tutorial. So you're going to want to load up your Photoshop, you're going to want to just go into a blank sort of document thing, and you're going to ha uh, have like a background layer, just black, it doesn't really matter. Then what you're going to want to do is go down to your sort of yin yang sign, click it, Go up to the top and it should say solid colour. You're going to click on that. It'll cr it should automatically come up with a colour thing. Then this is going to be sort of the colour of the whole background. So I uh, think of two colours that go well like blue, purple, orange, red, sort of orange, blue. So I'm going to do green and yellow. Um, so then what you're going to want to do is just sort of blue. You're going to go to your paint brush and uh, you sh if you download a pack full of paint brushes well brushes sorry uh, it should come up with should you should get some sort of like paint splattered effects and um, they're really good to use you can get them from most GFX packs then just click on the document hit ok and you get sort of this and then if you go down here to these two little squares you can change the colour to whatever you want sort of the um, splat to be then what you literally you're going to do is just put a couple of splats sort of on the document like that and then what you're going to want to do is come up to some more and then I just change down the size <coughs> sorry um, some of them are quite good some of them aren't as good you know it doesn't really it looks bad but it will look better on the uh, sort of document if you know what I mean with the document the background sorry so I just put a couple of these down. Uh, you don't really need to worry about filling up the whole thing. You sort of need the top half to be sort of better, I guess, in a way. But uh, so like that. Then before, like, click on the whole thing. You don't really need to worry about the color fill. Then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna wanna hit hue, and it should go black. And then what you can literally do is just if you have the uh, your move tool selected drag it up into the document, wait till it goes there, then drag it on and I don't know if you guys can see that but it is sort of a paint splattered ma uh, material like that and the bottom one isn't done as much because I didn't do as many on the bottom but uh, if you move it around you can sort of get different splats and sort of where you put them and it sort of changes sort of the whole sort of background I usually use this when it's finished, it looks really good you can change down the opacity a bit so like I know it sort of like darkens it a bit and you can sort of keep the original colour in a way but um, yeah guys it's been Yixer and uh, thanks a lot for 100 subs I uh, really appreciate it so yeah thanks guys if you did like tutorials uh, just comment saying you want some more and I'll do some more but uh, yeah guys thanks a lot uh, see you in the next bit video